What's up everyone? Now the Arbitrum Odyssey event has been on pause for maybe about two or three months now. A lot of people had speculated that this was going to be one of the main events to decide which people would be eligible for any Arbitrum airdrops once their native token launches. We still don't have a date of when the Arbitrum Odyssey event is going to continue. However, since then, Odyssey have released a series of side quests on different platforms that you can do to earn yourself some roles in the Discord and also get some NFTs that could also turn out to be one of the requirements to get yourself a bigger or fuller airdrop once that happens. So today in this video I want to be focusing on layer 3. These guys have released a series of quests that you can do and upon completing them you will earn yourself an NFT. Now, whilst nothing is confirmed and nothing is just speculation at this stage, if you are looking to get the maximum sized airdrop once the Arbitrum token launches, then I think it's very important to be doing all these different little side quests on all the platforms possible. So stay tuned to the rest of the video as I explain to you guys step by step how to complete these quests over on layer 3. <laughs> Now, if you follow the link that I put in the description of this video, it's going to take you to the Layer 3 website and open up the current Arbitrum quests, which are called the Arbitrum Adventure. Now, they have four different bounties to complete. So these are kind of four different stages. And within each stage, they have a number of challenges, usually three in each one. And you have to complete each one in order to finish that uh, challenge. So the first one here, blast off into the Arbitrum Galaxy. So we go into this and we can see there are three different tasks to finish. Now the first one is to make sure that you have some Ethereum on the Arbitrum network. So if you're somebody who has already been testing out some of the protocols on Arbitrum and you already have some ETH over there, all you have to do is press verify. Now you see on each little step they have a start button and a verify button. This makes following the steps very easy to do because for each protocol that you need to interact with, all you literally need to do is click this start button and it takes you directly to the page that you need to be on to make any sort of interaction or transaction. And then once you've completed that, you come back to this page and just click the verify button. So if you already have some ETH and Arbitrum, then you would just need to click this verify button here, which will appear just here. But if you are new to Arbitrum and you have never had funds on there before, you are going to need to use a bridge. Now, I do recommend using the Orbiter bridge. The reason for that is because Orbiter Finance still don't have their own native token, but will be having one in the future. And the people that use their bridge more often are going to stand a better chance to get a better airdrop. Now, with this bridge, you can bridge your funds from a bunch of different blockchains, as you can see here. So if you've got funds on Polygon, ZK Sync, Optimism, Ethereum, you can bridge your funds from there over onto the Arbitrum network. Now the second step on this, fir on this first challenge is to hold any NFT on Arbitrum. Now if you have already been completing quests on different quest boards or if you've been interacting with the old test net or maybe following some of the other stuff that's been going on in the Discord, you might already have an NFT on Arbitrum. So it's always worth just pressing this verify button just to check if you have any NFTs already. But if you don't have any NFTs, then you will have to go over to something like OpenSea and buy yourself an NFT on the Arbitrum uh, network. Now, it can literally be any NFT. So, you know, you can buy one for a dollar, you know, even less than a dollar, just a random NFT. And that will qualify yourself for this second step. So after you've finished, you're going to go ahead and press verify and then you move on to this last step. This last step is very easy. Once you click on the start button, it will then move you over onto Twitter and you will need to retweet the announcement that it proposes you to retweet. And then once it's retweeted, you need to come back and press on the verify button. One thing to note on this step is that when you first sign in to a and make a layer free account, when you connect your wallet, you also want to go onto your profile and make sure that your Twitter and Discord account is linked to your layer 3 account that makes some of these steps a little bit faster. Once you've completed all three tasks, you want to click on the complete button at the bottom and then you'll be able to move on to the next challenge. Now challenge number two only has two steps and both of them are pretty simple. One of them is to buy GLP on the GMX platform 
uh, on Arbitrum. And the second is to buy some magic on Sushi Swap. Now, like I was saying before, these steps are very simple to follow thanks to this start button here. All you need to do is click on it. It's then going to open the exact page that you need. You wanna go ahead and connect your wallet and buy some GLP tokens. Now it is worth noting here that there is no minimum purchases. So you can make some transactions for 50 cents, 40 cents, 30 cents, uh, you know, less than $1 for those of you guys that don't have a lot of funds and you will still be able to complete these quests. The second step of this challenge is just as easy. You wanna go ahead and click the start button here. It will take you onto Sushi Swap, connect your wallet, and again, you want to buy a small amount of magic tokens. Like I said, you can. there's no minimum amount, so you can buy 10 cents worth. And then come back over here and click verify. Now, once you've completed these two steps, you want to go ahead and click the complete button again. Now, one of the negative aspects of this quest board is that it's actually going to take you a minimum of 48 hours to complete. And the reason behind that is once you've completed challenge two, you will need to wait 24 hours before challenge three unlocks. And then once you've finished challenge three, you will need to wait then a further 24 hours until challenge four unlocks. Once you've waited 24 hours, you will then be able to go on to challenge three, which is Radiant Investor. And you want to follow the same process. You want to press the start button, which will appear here on the right hand side. That will take you over to Balancer. Once you're on here, you want to connect your wallet and get those VST tokens. Now you want to make sure that you choose a VST and not VSTA. So as you can see here, there is two options, VSTA and VST. You want to make sure you pick VST, it's the stable coin. And again, there's no minimum amount here, so you can transfer a very small amount if you are short on funds. Once that first step's complete, the second step, you want to press the start button again, and it's going to take you over to the Vesta website which is gonna look a little something like this. Then you wanna go ahead and connect your wallet like always, and it is right here in the Ethereum pool staking that you wanna put your funds. Once that step's complete, you can move on to the last one, which is then to lend into the Radiant Arbitrum. So you can go ahead and click the start button here on the third step. This will bring up the Radium platform like so. You wanna go ahead and connect your wallet and then follow the on-screen steps to deposit your funds. Once those three steps have complete and you have verified each of them, you can go ahead and click the complete button here down at the bottom. And then you have to wait another 24 hours, like I was saying before, in order to complete the last challenge. So here's the last challenge. Again, there is three steps. The first one, you need to buy some DPX on Sushi Swap. You can do that by clicking on the start button here. It will take you over onto Sushi Swap. And from there, you can buy your DPX tokens. The screen will look a little something like this. You want to go ahead and connect your wallet and then purchase some tokens for a small amount of Ethereum. Remember, there's no minimum amount required. Step number two, you need to add liquidity to the ETH DPX pool on Sushi. So you go ahead and follow the start link again here on the right hand side. This will bring you to a screen that looks like this. Once your wallet's connected, you want to choose the amount that you want to deposit into the protocol, approve the transactions and then make the deposit. You will then just have the last step to do, which is farm your sushi swap liquidity pool tokens on Dopex Arbitrum. So click the start button here on the right hand side. As always, it'll bring you up onto this screen here. Now, once your wallet is connected, you want to go ahead and click on the DPX WEF one here on the left hand side. And this is where you want to approve and then deposit your LP tokens. Once that's done, you have completed the last challenge. So you want to click the complete button again, and then that will automatically mint you your NFT on Polygon. So whilst nothing is confirmed and everything is speculation, I think it's very important if you are looking to get the full airdrop on the Arbitrum network, if you are looking to get the largest airdrop possible once the Arbitrum token launches, I think it's important to make sure you do all these side quests and earn all the NFTs possible and get all the required roles in the Discord server. So if you guys do like this kind of content, then please stay to the end of the video because I've got a link on how you can try and qualify yourself for the ZK link airdrop that will be upcoming as well. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. So thanks for listening as always, and until next time, bye.